Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday and welcome to your Wednesday Wisdom with Spirit, where I will tune in through mediumship or channeling and see what's here. Uh, for those of you that are joining me for the first time, I'm Jeanette Byro and I'm a medium and a channeler. And thank you for checking out the channel. And for those of you that have been with me for a while now, thank you so much for your kindness, your support, your encouragement, your positivity. It goes a long way. And so I just want to say thank you. Thank you for you. Um, now, interesting. The message today is so interesting because I could barely get here fast enough to bring this message through because I was in the midst of doing something else and spirit was just like, we're bringing this through now. It's really important to share. So here I am and we're just going to dive in. So I'm going to start with what I've already been shown and then we'll see where it goes from there. This is the three guides of the light. Uh, the first thing that they showed me, they, they were like, hey, heads up. And they showed me this tornado. Um, and say this is like all of us in our individual journeys. There's this tornado spinning and like maneuvering itself around, like kind of weaving in and around certain objects. And those objects are those of us that are holding our energy in a higher frequency. Now, when I say holding our energy in a higher frequency, I don't mean um, someone being better than another. I don't mean someone having everything figured out and things like that. It's not a better than type thing. It is a frequency of open-mindedness it is a frequency of choosing um, responsibility in actions and, and really trying to step out of victim mentality. It is an energy of looking to see how we can co-create a better world. And none of that is done perfectly, right? It is done by taking step-by-step -step progress. And sometimes it's a great step, sometimes it's a fumbly step, but it's the intention behind is what allows for this higher frequency, this frequency of positivity in essence, even if times get tough. So this tornado of chaos and conflict energy that's happening right now is maneuvering around these certain pieces of frequency because those frequencies are quite um, resistant to the tornado energy. So what that means is many of you may be noticing in your life or definitely on the collective level in certain media and news outlets and things like that, world events, there's a chaos energy and a lot of chaos energy happening right now that is really having you know an effect of pushing a lot to the surface and we can be observant of it and see the storm and see that tornado but when we're really solid in standing in our own frequency of what is true for us that tornado doesn't actually hit us and I know I'm using tornado and some people have actually had to go through tornadoes but this is the symbolism that spirit gave me of chaos energy that tends to whirl and whirl and whirl, okay? Now within that, they said, as systems crumble, there must be those that can stand solid enough in their energy to anchor those that have had to partially crumble through those experiences in order to rebuild themselves too, which is why things happen in phases. So for some of you, you may be feeling very impermeable to the chaos energy that's happening. Others of you might feel like, oh, I'm getting caught up in this energy or, you know, why does it keep kicking my feet out? I keep tripping, but I manage not to fall. Again, everybody's moving through this in different phases. So wherever you can anchor your energy, know that by you anchoring it, you're helping to give stability to those that are in the midst of trying to anchor. Uh, there are others that have been anchored for a long time. And so their energy frequency is so much bigger. They're creating like a, fortress of a safe haven energetically right now for everyone. So it's all happening in phases. The most important thing right now is to recognize where you are in your journey and focus on that. Focus on your frequency energy right now because that's what's most important is when you get into that alignment with yourself, you then create such a greater hub of energy that affects the world collective energy. It affects this new uh, growing consciousness grid that Spirit's been talking about with me lately, which is a higher frequency grid than what we used to have. And it's all dependent on your individual frequency. So honor you right now to help you avoid some of the chaos and conflict that's happening in the energetics right now. That's the first part of the message. Let me just see what the next piece is.
Yeah, they're saying, we know we say this often, but focusing your energy on what brings you joy helps, they're saying, to eradicate the lower frequencies. And they're showing it to me like, you know when you shake something? Yeah, okay. They're showing me, um, you know when you're transplanting plants, right? And you, you pull the pot off and you see the root ball and sometimes it's really bound. Sometimes you have to shake it a little bit to allow some of those roots to come free from the dirt around them before you plant it in so that when you plant it in, they're not root bound. They're actually, you know, they're ready to grow wider. So there's a value in that joy energy, shaking the energy out of you, um, falling into that joy to shake free some of the things that may be holding you back. And so sometimes that requires like a leap of faith on your part. Sometimes it requires physical energy to kind of exhaust some of the energetic binds that feel like they're holding you back. Um, but be willing to break free of that right now into the energy of joy because it's going to be hugely beneficial for you in how your roots uh, take root, right? In how they grow and establish themselves in this new soil. And they're saying this new soil is basically the metaphor for this new energetic template that we have been creating and tilling the land for and planting the seeds in and and um, there's also this like transplanting that's happening too so to take root with things that have been transplanted from one timeline into the next one um, requires requires a little bit of joy and they're showing me this imagery right now of somebody gardening to music and dancing around actually has this beautiful frequency to the process rather than just like popping a plant in there, stuffing some soil around it and moving on, right? There's a whole difference in the energetics of it. So be cautious, not cautious, curious about what your energy is telling you and then be conscious about what you choose to do with it because again, it's making such a difference right now and things are progressing so fast that kind of every action matters. And again, I'm gonna say the action is not about perfection in your action but doing the best you can in any given moment and then making things right if you didn't quite do it the way you wanted to and, and you need to make it right, be willing to make it right and move forward from it. It grows. It helps you blossom as your own personal metaphorical flower. I'm just going to see if there's anything else. Yeah, okay. And they're saying, last thing is remember to breathe. Pausing to breathe right now is one of the simplest ways to reset your frequency and detach from the chaos energy too. They're saying if you pause and take three slow intentional breaths, you'll detach from the chaos whirl of the tornado energy. So bring your breath back to you rather, having, rather than having your breath being pulled out from the chaos energy. Okay, so breathing, it doesn't even have to be full on breath work, just three conscious slow breaths to recenter your energy will go a long way right now. So I will leave that with all of you for now. Thank you so much for joining me as always. And as well, I do wanna say I'm hosting Cosmic Consciousness Circle tonight. We're gonna to be talking about activating the Stargate within you. So if you're interested about how that all connects, you can sign up at avalonspirit.com under Cosmic Consciousness. And I hope to see you there. Have a good one.